nearly 50 refugees and asylum seekers held on now rule, including at least three women seeking to terminate a pregnancy, are being refused, or not considered for, overseas medical treatment, in defiance of doctors' recommendations. Three pregnant refugee women on Nauru have asked to terminate their pregnancies, for cultural, familial and health reasons. Doctors' requests for them to be transferred overseas for the procedure have been rejected. Terminations are illegal on Nauru, a devoutly Christian country, and Australian Immigration Department staff have confirmed to the Guardian that nearly 50 refugees and asylum seekers are on a waiting list for approval for medical transfer for a variety of conditions including musculoskeletal injuries and surgeries that cannot be performed on the island. Australia's offshore detention centres, terrible, says architect of system. Read more since July this year, Australia's Department of Immigration and Border Protection has mandated that all medical transfers must be approved by the Nauru Hospital Overseas Medical Referral Committee. Previously, urgent or sensitive medical transfers were directly arranged between the Australian Border Force and the Australian Government's Health Contractor, International Health and Medical Services. Staff on the island say the changed procedure is a political effort to obstruct medical transfers. The OMR committee meets irregularly, keeps little paperwork, repeatedly defers decisions and often cancels meetings. But island sources say, as well, the OMR committee has been placed in an invidious position in the case of terminations, essentially being asked to sign off a procedure overseas that is illegal in Nauru. The three pregnant women have been recommended by doctors for transfer overseas for terminations this month but have been refused by the hospital OMR committee. In at least one case, a psychiatrist has recommended a woman's mental health was being significantly impacted upon by her current situation and that if the termination of pregnancy does not proceed it will very likely pose a significant risk to her physical and mental health, both from an individual, familial and community perspective. Politically, there is resistance from the Australian government to refugees and asylum seekers being brought to Australia for tertiary care. Refugees and asylum seekers brought to Australia for medical treatment often exercise their rights before the courts and seek injunctions preventing them from being returned. These are regularly granted by Australian courts.